A group of mathematicians once got lost on the island of Milos in the catacombs. They wandered for days and days, contenting themselves not with food or water, but by thinking about the prime number catacombs of William Paulson. This is how they work. In order to move around the primary number catacombs, you need to be able to take your prime number and put it into binary. How do you do that? Well, you look for the largest power of 2, which is less than your number, and then you're going to subtract it. So in this case, the largest power of 2 less than 13 is 8. So I'm going to subtract that 13 minus 8. That's going to be equal to 5. And then I'm going to repeat it. So 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. So I don't need any 2s. And so that is 13 in binary. It's 8 plus 4 plus 1. 1, 1, 0, 1. Let's do it again, this time for 103. So in this case, the largest power of 2, that is less than 103, is 64. So we'll take 103 minus 64, that's 39. 39 minus 32, that's 4, 3, 3, and we've got it. So 103 is equal to 64 plus 32 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. In order to move through the prime number maze, you need to know which rooms are connected to one another. And those rooms are ones that only differ with one digit in their binary representation. So in this case, uh, 103, you could replace that 1 with a 0, and you could get, end up with 71. So 71 and 103 are connected. Let's look at another possibility. 71, you could add a 1 at the start of that number, and you could end up with 199. So 71 and 199 are connected. You can change a single digit in the number. You can also add a single one out in front, but you can't add more than that. So for example, you can go from 23 to 7, like this, because you're just changing a 1. But you cannot go the opposite direction, because the 7 would require that you would add not just a 1 out in the front of the 7, but you'd need to add a 1 and a 0 out in front. So this doesn't work. You can't go from 7 to 23. So there's some of these trap doors that only open one way. You have to be very careful that you don't get stuck. You're going to start the prime number catacombs at 2, and then you have to go exploring. Here's the first little bit of the catacombs. And here, you can keep on going. So I'm giving you that hint if you want to keep on exploring. There's also some trap doors. These are one-way directions that you can get down, but you can't get back up again. So for example, you can go from 83 down to 19. That's one way. You can go from 19 down to 3. That's one way, but you can't get back up again directly. There's lots of puzzles and problems surrounding the prime number catacombs. Here's four of them. The first one is the easiest. The other three are either impossible or unsolved. So the first one might take uh, an average class a week to solve. So by no means is it easy. But there are two numbers under 100 that you can get to, but you can't get out of. Thank you.